If you're a newer player on Ark and you're looking to have an interesting experience or you're just ha looking to have a crazy easy experience that's just very different from general, you know, vanilla grindy hardcore Ark, you can use these 10 beginner mods that I've picked out for you and you can find all the links to them in the description down below. So when you click any of the mod links in the description down below, it should allow you to subscribe to the mod, adding it to your Steam, it, which will uh, force an update for your game, and it will add it to this available mods here so that you can add it to the active mods for any of the, the maps you play in single player. Now for the first mod I want to talk about is auto engrams. If you're playing single player, this is a no-brainer because Ark doesn't give you enough engram points to unlock everything. So auto engram basically allows you to unlock every engram as you reach that level. So you reach level 4, you unlock everything on level 4. You reach level 5, you unlock everything on level 5 instead of only being able to pick and choose around like, you know, 30 to 40% of the total game's items. The next mod is Lethal's Reusables. Now this one is fantastic. It basically gives you a variety of items like the spear, the bola, the crossbow with the grapple, parachute, and various other items in the game that you can use them forever and ever and ever. Like they, you just, you never have to craft tons of them. Like bolas normally when you throw it, that one's gone. Like when you throw a spear, it's gone. You know, with the grapples, you, you can basically, you don't have to farm and like craft grapples the entire time. You can use as many parachutes as you want. It just makes life a whole lot more simple. I wouldn't recommend, recommend, recommend for a PvP setting, but for PvE, it's just it just makes life so much easier. Now, this next mod is a mod that many, many, many people use. It's either Structures Plus, S Plus, or Stru Super Structures, known as SS. I personally have gotten used to using Super Structures lately, so it's they basically kind of the same thing. Essentially, if you have default items and you have the SS items here, for example, the modded ones, you can basically not be able to pick up the uh, default items in the game when you place them down. If you place it on a foundation, a wall, you, you, you can't pick it up again. Your base is like stuck there forever. But what you can do with the modded version, the SS or the superstructures ones, you can pick it up after you've placed it no matter how much time has passed. Both mods also come with a tool which allows you to do various different things. Holding the N key for superstructures allows you to bring up this gun that you can change it to different modes for like picking stuff up or changing, you know, different things. I personally like using the transfer gun. So when you right click on this box, for example, that has a bunch of items in it, you can right click here or on a dyno and you can left click where you want all that stuff to be moved to. So left click here and I move everything from that box into this box over here. It just makes life a whole lot more convenient. And there's a ton more options that you can play around with with this mod. Awesome Spyglass is the next mod, and this mod is something super helpful. Normally you need a normal Spyglass just to see the level of a dino. Now with Awesome Spyglass, it actually highlights every single dino with a white glow. As you can see here in the distance, even holding down right click will give you a zoom effect, almost like working like a Spyglass itself. And when you aim at certain dinos, you can see so much information about them, what you need to tame them, their stats, how many points they have into each different stat, like if they have a good melee damage, if they have a good health uh, you know, amount. So you can kind of choose, pick and choose which dinos you need to tame based on this information that you can see instead of taming them and seeing afterwards. Now the next mod is going to change the game quite a bit if you are used to vanilla. I've been using this mod since I've ever been playing this game. So basically these mods are called Chief Stacks 500 or you can use one of the HG stacking mod mods which come in different amounts where you can basically allow your items to stack to certain levels like Chief Stacks 500 makes all the items stack to 500. Now normally some items are not stackable like for example prime meat or raw mutton. In this one they can stack to 500 which makes the game incredibly easier and more convenient. And with HG stacking mod, you can actually reduce the weight of items so that you can carry a ton more than what you would normally be able to carry. The next mod is called Beacon Enhancer, and basically what this does, it changes the items that beacons can drop and makes sure that they drop better stuff instead of dropping crop plots every two seconds or blueprints for items that you already are able to craft. So you actually get a use of, of these drops and these supply drops around the world so that you can actually get something, something nice, you know, something usable. If you've ever played Ark and you've wondered if there was a setting to keep your inventory when you die, much like you have in Minecraft, there is the death recovery mod. And when you make a personal grave, that is what the grave is called, you're able to recover any of your bags dropped from your character, for example. So if I go ahead and I die quickly over here, when I die and I come back to this gravestone after dying, before my bag disappears, which is usually around 30 minutes or is uh, dependent on the server or wherever you're playing, you can basically use this gravestone to recover everything that was in your bag, which is very, very helpful. So you don't have to worry about ever losing whatever's on your character ever again. 
The next mod is called a Dino Storage V2, and it adds these like little, kind of like Pokemon balls here, a paint gun looking like thing, as well as a terminal. Now these work as a replacement for cryopods. So basically you can use these ball things over here as a cryopod. There is no cryo sickness with these. So this is why they're more fantastic. This is definitely for a PVE setting, or if you're in single player and you just want life to be a whole lot easier, you can even go so far as have the paintball gun with the balls in your inventory and be able to shoot and pick things up quickly. Once you've used this mod, it is very very, very hard to go use cryo things again like normal. And you can obviously just throw them out like this. It's great for boss fights and everything so that you don't have to wait six minutes every single time that you want to throw a dinosaur out. Now, if you thought that was overpowered, you should see the Soul Terminal. The Soul Terminal is actually able to store all of your dinos and do various different things with them. It also acts as a hatchery as well as a, you know, a thing that it can pick up stuff. So if you go to Options, Automation, it has so many different options here, like Fertilized Egg Collection, so it'll pick up fertilized eggs off the ground. It will incubate them to the last, like, like 1%, so you just have to, like, throw it out and hatch it immediately. It will also produce unfertilized eggs if the dinos are inside of the Soul Terminal. So if you're looking for, like, Rex eggs, passive generation, making poop inside the thing without having the dinos in the real world, you can have them in the terminal just doing all of these things for you just by being in the terminal, like getting like sheep wool or queen bee honey generation, just by them being stuck in the terminal in their like balls. Now, the reason why I think this is way better than the hatchery from Structures Plus or Superstructures, the newborn auto trap is able to actually trap a newborn dino that doesn't get like born into an egg and you just have to enable this and if this thing is within range of that dino, you can also use the mating on to turn everything within this range on mating around you over here. And it will go ahead and pick up those fertilized eggs. And if it has those soul balls inside the terminal, it will also pick up animals that are birthed, like shadow mains, deodons, anything that is given birth to. It will immediately put them into a soul ball that you have to throw out later so that they can grow up. The next mod is completely overpowered for endgame in Ark because it will allow you to basically become overpowered in terms of how fast you tame things, how fast you can like take things down, making the best saddles, the best weapons, everything in the game. And this is Upgrade Station. Now the way this works is in the actual Upgrade Station here, you can put resources for an item. You click on the item, you click Attempt Upgrade, and you can upgrade the quality as well as the amount of damage, weapons, saddle armor, anything that can be upgraded like into different qualities. Instead of going out for loot crates and hoping for a perfect drop, you use Upgrade Station to make your perfect items. And you even have a Blueprint Station right above this one here. It's an attachment that you add on that you build onto the Upgrade Station. And you can convert this item into a Blueprint, much like this over here. And now you can use this as a Blueprint to make multiple of this exact item. It gets better. There's an augment station that you can put on the right side of the upgrade station. And in here, you're able to craft these different augments, like one that increases melee damage or even one that increases armor for like saddles. And you can use these on weapons and armor. It goes up to a certain point. So it's not like you're going to get like a million percent damage on like a hatchet. I think it goes up to like 600 or 700 percent, depending on the quality of the hatchet itself. And you can use these augments here by augmenting the item to increase the, the damage of the item or even the durability, if you so choose, using that right augment meant to make the best stuff in the game. This next mod is for you people who don't like to sit there breeding for hours and hours and hours and hours in a single player setting. This is called the best eggs. This basically has a machine here called Best Egg Maker, and you just put an eggs in here, you can click the refresh all button the first time you do this, and basically what it will do, it will give you the best stats from both the parents. So normally you would breed like this for, for ages to try get the best stats of each one to make sure it lands on the right thing. You can also change the egg from male to female so that the baby is born as specifically a female or specifically a male, and then you just click that Make Best Egg item, and that egg will come out with the best melee points, the best stamina, food, weight, health, everything. It will be the best of both of the parents combined. It just makes breeding a whole lot easier if you're just not used to or you don't feel like sitting there trying your luck for, for ages, which is normal Ark's kind of playthrough. And those are the 10 beginner mods that I would recommend to players to try around, play around with. Some of them are a little OP. I don't recommend using them all at once because it will just make your game super, super easy. But using one or two of them and some of the just the more convenient ones like auto engrams, lethals, reusable, super structures, stuff like that, awesome spyglass, don't change the game drastically like the last few that I just mentioned. So, you know, just have fun with the game. Experiment with the way you want to play the game. You know, the idea is just to have fun and not make it feel like you you just don't want to get on and, and play the game. You want to, you know, if you like the grind, keep the grind. If you don't like the grind, you can kind of minimize the effect of it as much as you can by using these, these mods. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.